back from the hospital. Uh, I got some weird things going on. Life feels so empty without cycling. I've got five more hours per day. <laughs> I need my bike to stay sane. It's an absolute nightmare. I'm like, I'm really close to crying. I've done a master plan and I wrote it on a paper, paper bag that I found in the trash. It's gonna work out. to a bike shop uh, and hope that they're gonna store the bike box for us if not we're fucked kind of fucked kind of fucked are you gonna flirt with them I'm gonna convince them with my charm <laughs> I say hey mate could you uh, you know <laughs> store the bike back for me oh my gosh <laughs> Look. this is the bike shop Help us, guys! Help us out! Howdy, Molly. Hola! God, I'm so nervous. Oh, oh. oh my god. Right. We can store the bike. Check! Right, muchas gracias! Woo! Okay, so a really, really big shout out to Bike Action. They are the freaking best. You're a legend. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> check, check. <laughs> We're running to the bus. Uh, oh my god, oh god. Uh, okay, let's go. Fuck. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Shout out to Fula Bike. <laughs> One more thing that I just love about the cycling community we just support, support each other no matter what. And these guys are cyclists as well, so they uh, help us out. Yeah. Waiting for the taxi that brings us to the airport so we can fly with our little military plane <laughs> to La Palma. Sky. We're going to have to jump out of the plane. Have the legs ready. You think our bikes are going to arrive? I asked the guy, hey, well, how do we know the bikes are? in the same plane that we are. He said, well, take a look down and if you see the box, the bike is still, if you don't see the box, you have to wait until the next flight brings the bike to you. Like, <laughs> so you're serious, you just said, just look down to see if the box is there. Like, yeah, take, a, <laughs> take a look. So, gonna make it to the plane, take a look down to spot the bikes or not, then hopefully land in La Palma tonight. But he has wings. <laughs> the best part of it is it's only two seats next to each other. <laughs> to all introverts here. This is great. He's like a go kart. 
cards. <laughs> La Palma is coming closer and closer. I am beyond happy and so relieved that I'm actually gonna make it there. I'm like, we are gonna make it there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> At some point, I really thought I should give up and not travel there anymore. But the happier I am that, I, that I'm actually here now. Don't mind me trying to be an actor. Airplane numero dos. We come so close. <laughs> We're here. We made it. A paima. Woo. Oh, you fuck. I think the bikes are okay. I hope so. Look at the box. Oh my god, Let's not see. nice. In order to fit the bikes in the only taxi that we could find here, uh, we had to remove the boxes and yeah, it takes less space. Perfecto. <laughs> It's heavy as a brick. 23 kg, eh? At least. <laughs> wow. Fuck, it's so nice already. Woo. I'm so excited to be exploring this island. Yes. Fuck yeah. So, um, those are our bike hiking setups. Um, our maid, I now carry the tent. We have mattresses here, pillows here and repair kit. Um, there's also shoes, a towel, all the clothing that we need for the days, something warm, toiletries, that's about it. They're freaking heavy. <laughs> I actually thought it would be a bit warmer here. Um, I didn't bring a rain jacket, I didn't bring a puffer jacket and I only have a summer kit but I'm gonna make it work. So right now we are planning the route that we are gonna do for the next two days. The reason that we only start creating the route now is we procrastinated. But also, <laughs> it's nicer to check out the area when you're actually there and like to um, also get some tips from locals where to go. Um, and if you're flexible, I think it's not a bad thing to do. But you're gonna lose some time on the first day. Um, it's already three. It took us a while to actually pack the bikes and like get everything sorted with a tent, uh, all the equipment to charge everything. But I'm really excited to just to just go and anywhere we want to stop, we can stop and uh, set up the tent. Need to find some breakfast before, but I'm, I'm, I'm so freaking excited to be finally here on this island. Seeing all the colorful houses means so much to me already. Alrighty, um, La Palma is very steep. We got 30 kilometer and 1,300 meters of elevation which is gonna be quite hard with bikes that weigh more than 22 kg. What are you doing? Oh. 45 kilometer and 2,000 meters of elevation? We're not gonna make a lot of kilometers here. No. The route planning is done for today. The only thing is that it's mostly untouched nature. So there's kilometers of gravel roads with nothing around. That means when we do the route planning, we have to consider the last spot where we can stock up on food to actually make it to the camping spot and also have food for the morning. So there's some extra planning that goes into that. 
another thing that's going to be complicated is we don't have a blanket or like anything to stay super warm because I didn't bring my puffer jacket because I thought it'd be a bit warmer. Like usually I always bring it, but I f I sweat it so much already on the Canaries because I've spent there two months and I didn't even need a gilet. So yeah, I completely underestimated that in the west of the Canaries, it's a bit colder. And today's Sunday, so we can't get anything. Adventure. that I really want to go to La Palma is I'm so fascinated by the landscape there and it's relatively untouched. There's not a lot of tourism so this is one of the adventures of my dream. I'm a lucky girl because I found a bathroom that I can use to give myself like a, a little wash before the night. What did I say about building the tent <laughs> before the dark? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I, I realize now. <laughs> <laughs> also, the gasoline station was great. I think all they had was Gasoline. A little bit of candy and gasoline. How many degrees? Nine. It's kind <laughs> of kind of cold and we don't have well we have just one puffer jacket and we couldn't find the thermal blanket, the emergency one, which is amazing. So yeah. I don't know, what should we do? Well um we actually are at the campsite here. But I'm not sure if the current equipment actually is made for a night at probably five degrees because if it's nine now it's gonna get colder at like three in the morning or four in the morning so um it might be not reasonable to sleep in a tent without a puffer jacket and without a blanket and without a sleeping bag so yeah i'd say plan b which is booking a hotel and getting additional equipment for tomorrow. I would have I would have loved to camp, but also I don't wanna do it just because and sometimes you have to make decisions based on facts and these facts were screaming don't fucking camp. Yes. Oh my god. Fuck me. Dead. <laughs> so first they told us um, that there was no room available and this is like the only hotel in the next 20-30 kilometers and it's a lot of uphill. And then he came back and was like, actually I do have a hotel room not for you. I think he felt really sorry because we were just standing there for like... 30 minutes trying to find a solution because it's in fact too cold to sleep outside. Wild adventure. So in this area here, there are no roads anymore. Now you can see that we're actually really high here. 